Hey, have you seen this guy before? If you're not a dish. You're a man. Of course you have. If you or your significant other are anywhere close to the same age demographic as I am, you've seen these ads a hundred thousand times already. Dr. Squatch All Natural Product for Men. For men who build things, open pickle jars on the first try, slay dragons, and let their daughters braid their hair. So on and so forth, and you get the point. Some people think these ads are funny, others find them incredibly obnoxious, but while the Squatch ad debate rages on, one question remains unanswered. What? Are Dr. Squatch all natural product for men any good? There's really only one way to find out. First, we need a man. Second, a definitive review. Definitive review. This video is not sponsored by Dr. Squatch in any way. I ordered and paid for all of that stuff out of pocket with my own dime. Oh, and also I did not order any of their hair products for obvious genetically inherited reasons. Never trust a bald man's opinion about shampoo, kids. And also, this is a very good video review. Trust me, I know, I made it myself. Lots of time, energy, and money went into it, so all I ask in return is that you squash that like button like a man. Do it. By the time we're finished here, you'll most likely be a proud new subscriber of YouTube's best kept secret, three years running. <laughs> God damn it. Someday I'll make it. Chapter one, let there be soap. A wide selection of scents and smells here, and I'm gonna test all of them. All of them? All of them. Let us begin with the ancient ritual of the nostrils and see if we can spot some early winners in there. Nose test. First up, pine tar. Rugged, woodsy, and strong, just like a Squatchman should be. Ooh. You'll be surprised to learn that this actually smells like pine tar, not pine saw, none of that chemical stuff. Actual Christmas tree smell. I like this one. Let's go. Up next, bay rum. Spicy, tropical, and smooth. Just like a Squatchman should be. This one smells like Captain Morgan or Sailor Jerry minus the whiff of strong alcohol that comes with it, but spiced rum for sure. Wow, two and two. Let's keep going. Okay, wood barrel bourbon. Oaky, spicy, and smooth. Just like a squash man should be. Definitely some notes of bourbon in there. Lots of vanilla, lots of, I think, brown sugar. Yeah, man, it smells good. Now, you wouldn't want grandma to smell like this, but grandpa, he could pull it off. <sighs> cool, fresh aloe. Natural, refreshing, and crisp. Just like a squash man should be. Ooh, interesting colors on this one. Not greasy, not greasy at all. Very sharp contrast set against bourbon and rum, but it does smell like aloe. With a little background of soap, of course, but I'll probably wash with this after a sunburn just for the placebo effect. Four down, all of them good. Moving on, Alpine Sage. Crisp, earthy, invigorating. Just like a squash, so on and so forth. Wait a minute. You know how smell can trigger memories? This actually smells like my long departed dad. I can remember as a kid, just wrapping myself up in his winter coat or sleeping bag or whatever, and he would get that smell. Along with a little background of cigarettes, of course, because, you know, those were the 80s, but damn, he would love this one. It's gonna be an emotional review if it keeps going. Okay, moving along. Cedar citrus. Zesty, energizing, refreshing. Just like a Squatch man should be. Very noticeable smell of orange peel in there, plus a little bit of cedar as well, but more like redwood cedar than just regular ass everyday cedar. This one matches its name exactly. Okay, deep sea goat's milk. Rich, smooth, and fresh. Just like a squash. 
large man should be. Not quite sure where the deep sea element comes into play here, but there's definitely a smell of milk to it. Maybe like a, a mild cheese, something like a brie, you know? Yeah, like, like milk fat. Certainly doesn't smell like an actual goat. I was imagining drowned goat or something. That would be a smell. Up next, grapefruit IPA. Bold, sweet, and refreshing. Just like a squash match of me. Hmm. Definitely getting all the grapefruit up front, but the IPA man is missing in action. I think there's supposed to be hops in there. Yeah, hops. The grapefruit is no slouch though. It smells really, really good. It's just doesn't smell like booze at all. <laughs> Next up, cold moss. Rich, robust, and sophisticated. Just like a squash. Well, according to their own website, Cold Moss is supposed to be Dr. Squatch's most popular fragrance of all their soaps. But... <sighs> it doesn't smell bad, it's just, there's a lot going on. It's, it's, you know, very, very complex, very... I don't know, soapy? <sighs> it's, this one is hard to describe, y'all. If I had to describe the smell of actual cold moss, it would be wet rock. This doesn't smell like wet rock. It smells like chemicals blended together until you get a not too unpleasant smell for which we couldn't find a better name. So cold moss it is. You're goddamn right. All right, spearmint basil. Cool, brisk, and fresh. Just like it is. Oh man, this. This is what I'm talking about. This one wears its name perfectly. It smells like freshly picked herbs straight from the garden. There's a very subtle note of soap way in the background here, but if I didn't know better, I would crumble this and put it over a salad. I did not just do that. I, I, I didn't, I didn't. Look, don't eat soap, y'all. Okay, eucalyptus Greek yogurt. Calming, aromatic, refreshing. Just like, well, you probably know the rest. Very powerful eucalyptus right off the bat. That's the smell of sore throat. But I gotta say, the subtle notes of yogurt in the background seem to somewhat send off the sharper edge of the eucalyptus. So it's not as aggressive as it could be otherwise. A match made in heaven. It's good, but I have a hunch that the lady is gonna prefer this one to me. Oh, up next. Cold brew cleanse. Invigorating, bold, and delicious. Because Sasquatches and such. I, I, I can't find a coffee in it. Interesting texture, this one. It says there is actual coffee beans in there, and I, I, I believe it just because of the texture of it, but this smells like chocolate to me. Yeah, chocolate milk is what I'm getting out of this one. It does say heavy grit though, so, you know, coffee beans might have a redeeming effect in there once we get to the shower. Well, that was invigorating. Titillating. Now I can attest with confidence that none of these soaps smell overtly flowery or overbearing, like none of those old school Sears Lady Isles. <coughs> oh my God, remember those? For the most part, I would say the Dr. Squatch soaps are mild and subtle, with a few complex notes that actually require a bit of testosterone for them to work. Let me put it this way. If some dude at the gym is pushing six plates on the bench yeah. press while reeking of pine tar, it would be 100% socially acceptable for you to be all like, son of a bitch. But if Jessica Alba in an evening gown was walking down the red carpet smelling of bay rum, well, the tabloid interview lady would be all like, Oh my God, wow, Jessica, I did not know you were also a construction worker. I don't know, I just... Oh my God! And thus concludes the nostril test. Straightforward, subtle, and dare I say it, manly. Good job, Squatch. Shower feel. Well, through the miracle of time, I have showered my way through most of these soaps. And here's a few takeaways. Got to break it in. See, Dr. Squatch soap bars are pretty dry out of the box. 
and it takes some, you know, good effort to get a good foam going, especially on the first wash. Matter of fact, my first impression was like, this ain't working at all. I use that foam to shave, so, you know, I need that foam. But then the soap starts absorbing a bunch of moisture, it softens up, and voila, works like a charm after that. Semi heavy grit. To be honest with you, I didn't find the heavy grit soaps to be all that gritty. The exfoliants are quite diffused within the bar, so, you know, it's hard to get that industrial belt sander feel that I enjoy so much out of heavy grit. Not as hardcore as I would have thought coming from a man soap company. But then again, these soaps are made by California men. Oh, oh come on, I'm just playing California. You know I like you. Boston number one. Non-stick smell. Some soap aromas stick with you better than others. Matter of fact, some don't stick with you at all. Pine tar, for example, does this thing where you take a shower and it smells all kind of good, but as soon as you step, step out of the shower feeling alive, there is no lingering pine tar smell at all. This kind of cuts both ways for me. On the one hand, I enjoy the no smell wash every now and again, perfect to go stalk some deer or, you know, just camp in the forest without attracting a billion mosquitoes. But then again, I love me some pine tar and that's the one smell I wish would stick with me for most of the day. And it doesn't. Thank goodness, Bayron does stick pretty well. Extendable shelf life. The fact that these soaps are so damn dry out of the box means that these will sponge up all the moisture they can get if you let them. Too much moisture is bad. If you let them sit around a water pool shelf, they'll absorb all that water, become slimy and droopy, and I swear to God, they will disappear on you within three to four washes tops. I'm not even kidding about this. But if you happen to have one of those suspended griddle shelf thing where there's a good airflow and the water can drip out, then you're good. But if you don't, you should grab yourself one of those Dr. Squatch soap saver thingies. Look how well that fits. A pedestal for your soap. But if you're cheap, sorry, I meant to say fiscally responsible, then just grab a handful of these knockoffs at your local dollar store. Copycat. What did you say? These things simply allow excess water to drip out and it will extend your soap shelf life for 15 to 20 washes. Considering that each of these bars retail at around nine US dollars, squeezing the value out of each of these bars is also the fiscally responsible thing to do. All in all, I love most of these soaps. And once I'm done showering through this vast collection of mine, I will most likely subscribe to Dr. Squatch to get two or three bars of soap a month, thus ensuring that my Squatch ass stays clean, well scrubbed and sexy. All right, class, today's lesson, Stink 101. Turn your armpits into Brad Pitts. <sighs> Chapter two, a natural stink stopper. Dude, I am very skeptical that any all natural deodorant without any aluminum in it could contain my naturally occurring Elon Musk. <sighs> it's a rich smell. <laughs> if I am wrong, then great, but if I'm right, I just gotta apologize for all the collateral damage I'm about to unleash testing these things. Nose test. Well, that's gonna be easy because each of these sticks of deodorant have a matching scent that we've already covered with the soaps. Except for this guy, Fresh Falls. Huh, this does not smell like a waterfall because to no one's surprise, waterfalls actually smell like wet rocks. It has more of a classic, clean smell. Maybe little notes of baby powder in there, like very subtle, but whatever. It smells fantastic, and I'm eager to try it all. Stress test. For everyday minimal stress situation, like working at a desk or watching a game with the boys, I gotta say, Dr. Squatch holds its end of the bargain pretty well. No weird secondary smells, no urgent need for a secondary layer halfway through, but for anything mildly stressful, like a, a, I don't know, a job interview or maybe a first date, eh, you, by which I mean me, 
you will most likely need a secondary layer halfway through just to keep up appearances. Will you excuse me for a minute? Maybe even a third. Will you excuse me again, please? And to all the plumbers, construction workers, firemen, surgeons, any man out there in need of real heavy duty smell repellent, I'm just sorry to say, but Dr. Squatch all natural deodorants just cannot hang with the real heavy duty stuff. No! I'm sorry, I just can't. No! But everyone's bodies are different, different pH, different food, different diets, and who knows, maybe I'm just a stinker. Ew. This is why anytime real hardcore deeds need doing, I gotta stick with the aluminum rich antiperspirant. You're not leftovers. You're a man. Dude, an hour into that paddleboard solo camping trip I took in the roasting July sun, and I could tell this, this was not gonna work. Two days with no plan B. Even the skunk kept their distances. Also, there's gotta be a better format than this thick ass plastic that's gonna take 20,000 million years to disintegrate. Chapter three, tasty pearly whites. Maybe you've already tried natural toothpaste. It tastes like dirt. Our dynamic duo divides and conquers to give your teeth exactly what they need when they need it. Did you catch all that? One in the morning and a different one in the evening. The same brush in good time for twice the price. I'll admit it, it struck me as a little gimmicky at first, but to my undying surprise, it works. It flat out works. Invigorating citrus mint. Honestly, the first time I slathered on some citrus mint in the morning was damn close to be a revelation. I'm alive! First of all, it tastes real good. I know it's still toothpaste. That's a little weird to say, but that's just how I feel about it. It is 100% possible to go straight from brushing your teeth to gulping down a tall glass of orange juice. Mm, pulpy. There is no clash between the toothpaste, the orange juice, or the coffee. Just, just none. Can your toothpaste do that? My old toothpaste couldn't do that. Dude, my kid's Paw Patrol toothpaste cannot do that. It's arguably a very simple thing, but I genuinely enjoy it. Hey, Doc, uh, I don't know if you're gonna watch this or not, but if you do, could you figure out a way to make cake icing out of these things? Because that would be damn great. Thank you. Soothing spearmint. Their night toothpaste, which is all spearmint, is way closer to, you know, your regular everyday toothpaste. But still, the taste? Somehow it does taste better than most toothpaste I've tried. There is just none of that sharp after eight chemical mint oh, taste. Putting the texture aside, it is way closer to taking a fistful of mint leaves and just showering it on your mouth and chewing on it for a bit. That's it, just spearmint and nothing else. Soothing spearmint polishes away the day's stains and whitens all night long. After gently tucking your teeth into bed. Thank you, Dr. Squatch. One added benefit from the dual toothpaste gimmick they got going is it got me to notice how much of a slacker I was in the morning. Ugh. See, the evening tube was depleting much faster than the morning one. A clear sign that Daddy needed to up his morning game, which I did. Thank you, Dr. Squatch. After months of use, I don't have any new cavities, I don't have issues with bad breath, my dentist didn't notice anything new at my biannual cleanup last week, so unless proven otherwise, I assume this is as good as the regular big brand stuff, it just tastes much, much better. Our toothpaste tastes so good, you won't want to spit them out. All right, Mike, spit it out. Mm -mm. Mike, seriously. Mm -mm. Michael. I dig this. <laughs> Hey, are you a dentist? Do you know anything about these? If you are, and if you do, please let me know in the comments below. I, I just got to know. Final thoughts. Well, after spending a couple months with the good doctor, I can confidently state that Dr. Squatch all natural product for men are above average. I put them on a spectrum between good and very, very good, depending on the product. The only real dig that can stick against Dr. Squatch is that their product are on the pricey side. I mean, nine bucks for a bar of soap, 12 bucks for a stick of deodorant that could potentially ruin your first day, 22 bucks for a set of morning, evening toothpaste. These are no cheap options for any budget. <laughs>
This is what you get if you care about all natural, responsibly sourced ingredients. Again though, I did not test any of their hair products because uh, I just cannot. <laughs> All in all, I think Dr. Squatch is a clever little startup that deserves all the pennies we can send their way. What's that? They made a $30 million Super Bowl ad? Well, good for them, expanding their horizons. Here's to us, little guys, climbing that ladder of success one rug at a time, starting at the bottom and... The Dr. Squatch Star Wars collection is here. What the hell? Dude, a Star Wars bundle? With natural nourishing ingredients and four galactic scents. Dude, I thought this was five dudes in a warehouse who love making soaps and funny ads. All right, let's go. Bonus chapter. No one asked for these, but cool, I guess. First up, only hope soap. Aromatic, bright, and uplifting. Just like a swatch must be. A tiny bit Irish springy, but there's something earthy in it that grounds it into the proper Dr. Squatch smells, but it's a tad too flowery for my taste, but I wouldn't be surprised if you and McGregor actually smell like this. Next up, Wisdom Wash. Restoring, fragrant, and fresh. Just like a swatch must be. Mm. Too much. There's just too much going on in this one. I cannot discern any one singular thing. It's not terrible. It's it's just not for me. Sorry, old man. Dagoba root fart. This smells like. Want to dabble with the dark side? Up next, dark side scrub. Smoky, rich, and stimulating. Just like a square bunch of bee. Oh hell yes. This. This one I like. It's smoky in a very good charcoal kind of way, which that's just wrong. Poor Anakin, come on, man. But there's still a little bit of a brightness in the background, like, I don't know, citrus or something? Keeps it from being all the way dark. Dude, if that's on purpose, good job, Squatch. You should put this one on the regular lineup. And finally, Ruthless Rinse. Wild, formidable, and bold. Just like a Squatch mentioned be. This one packs a punch just about the same as an old lady perfume, like very in your face, very direct, very bold. But instead of chemical flowers, you get not quite ripe early season blackberries is what it smells like to me. Very sharp, very tart, but you know what? I do like it. Looks like it's all dark side for me. Who would have known? I could see this being a very nice present for that special Star Wars nerd in your life. Because let's face it, people, we all know at least one Star Wars nerd that could use a little more so. <laughs> oh, come on now. I'm just breaking your balls. This is, this is a man thing. Star Trek number one. And that's it. That is all she wrote, folks. If there was a fat lady, now is when she would sing. If you want to get your grubby mitts on any of the Dr. Squatch all-natural product for men, I will leave a link directly below to the Squatch Nation. Soaps are good, but toothpaste is great. Oh, and please do not forget to SQUATCH THAT LIKE BUTTON LIKE A MAN! If you haven't done it the first time around, but let's be honest here, you stuck around for a long ass time, so do I really gotta say it? Okay, I'll say it. Don't fight the urge. Just don't think about it. Go ahead and subscribe. Annoying YouTubery, I know, but the bill's gotta be paid. Come on, do your part. Help a brother out. Thanks for watching, y'all, and I'll... Is that the limited edition Dr. Dr. Squatch, Squatch Halo Soap? James? Mike? Why are we here? Because Dr. Squatch teamed up with Halo to slay your stink and respawn your skin with Dr. Squatch Spartan Scrub. Dude, I'm taking way too long to put these reviews together. Oh, come on. Master Chief smells like patchouli? Really?